So I set up the new cameras. I changed one camera. I uh, put it right here, right near the apple tree. And I see footmarks that they are coming this way and it's obvious why look look at the apple tree um there's all footmarks in here see these are my erroneas and they're chewing them down look at this they're supposed to be about three feet high and they're just completely chewed right down here so i have no choice but to do something about these deers so, and they're, you can see their marks here. So they're just walking, they're crossing, and they're going for the apples. Oops, I'm going to be on the camera <laughs> filming this camera. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you can see this here, there, it's apples. And the apples are still on the tree. So for sure, they're coming over here. And I got uh, Mr. Wallowitz over here too. I got a groundhog that uh, I call Wallowitz. He spies on me sometimes in the spring when I'm working. Um, let's check out here. How is my plants? So we did this row this year. Um, experimented with coffee bags. You see this? Now I had quite a season the other year when I just left the weeds and um, I added some compost and then I planted them and the weeds just took over like crazy so this is pretty impressive look how clean this is I do have some weeds coming right through obviously right through the bag but that I can handle okay so I'm I'm really really satisfied with this they're looking a little pale um that could be just a shock because usually I plant them in spring. Very important to plant them in spring. Lots of watering uh, from nature. And I did this late summer. So it was right in the middle of the heat here. So this is, for me, I think they're doing really, really well. They'll pick up their color next year. Okay, so you see I have a rope down. That means the deer is crossed over here and tore it down. Okay, again, these guys look to be pretty good. Yep. <laughs> this one was originally in the row from the last row that I planted. And um, the first row I planted, and these rows had all died. So I replanted again. But this one was original, so I left him there. He's a survivor. I love survivors. Okay, so you see the rope. <laughs> so that's deers. They're coming right across from here to there. The ropes are down. They're crossing over in the back of the bush. So that means this is the next place I'm gonna put the camera to see exactly what is crossing. It's always an adventure when you're farming. Now, I would love to have animals also included in this farm. <laughs> But I have to do baby steps and I have to grow slowly. Otherwise, um, you could just put too much on your plate. Once I have all the plants established where they need to be and they're growing fine, I will expand. I'll definitely expand. But right now, I want to enjoy the moment. I want to say, whew, okay, we did good this year. You know, and I'm not burnt out. Actually, I did get burnt out this year. Um, so it took me a little while to get my energy back, but I'm back, so that's good. <laughs> and uh, we have more work to do. Now the weather is getting extremely cold for me. I don't like damp, I don't like cold. I can work in the midst of the hottest days and be totally fine. Give me cold and uh, I want the wood stove, so. I love the autumn. It's like autumn summer, I guess. I love the autumn summer. It's so beautiful. Where the wind is nice and warm and the air is beautiful. Now, I see this land as beauty. Now, people or viewers may say, uh, you got a lot of work. I do, 
but I see the beauty in it. I can envision it already and I'm excited. And because of my budget, I have to go slow. That's the way it goes. Um, I could probably have done it all in one year uh, with an unlimited budget, but when you have a budget, you have to go with it and that's okay. You have to accept it and you have to work with what you have and nature will provide. Everything will work out. I'm sure of it. So these are the guys. Now I left the mullen. See the mullen here is dead. Well, not dead. He's, he's done his, his job for this season. And I left him for seeds to be scattered, okay? I want his seeds to be scattered. I want to pick more mullen. Uh, I made mullen syrup and it was amazing. So let's take a look at this elderberry. He's done really good. The color is nice. He's getting enough uh, nitrogen, obviously. Um, this one has a little bit of spots. I'll check on him next year. It could be just the season. It's done. Leaves are supposed to be falling off and they're actually holding on really, really well. So the ones at my house are all falling off and they're all yellow. So this is really amazing. It's telling me that it has enough nutrition. Now I'm gonna come in here and clean up the weeds. Uh, there's another tall mullen. Look at that. Uh, yeah, no, I'm very, very, very satisfied. 